Let's explore modular programming in C. This approach involves organizing large projects into multiple files, making the code base more manageable and efficient. This slide introduces the concept of modular programming in C. A modular C project typically consists of header files with a .h extension, which contain declarations, source files with a .c extension, which contain implementations, a main file, which contains the program entry point, and a make file, which manages the compilation process. Here's a typical project structure. You have a project directory, for example, my underscore project. Inside it, there is an include folder which contains header files such as module1h, module2.h, and common.h. There is a source folder which contains main.c, module1.c, and module2.c. Then there is a build folder which contains compiled objects. Finally, there is a make file and a readme file with a .md extension. Header files serve several important purposes. They declare function prototypes, define data structures and types, define constants and macros, provide interface documentation, and prevent multiple inclusions with guards. Here is an example of a calculator.h file. It starts with an if and def preprocessor directive that checks if calculator underscore h is not defined. If it is not defined, then it defines calculator underscore h. Then function prototypes for add, subtract, multiply, and divide are declared. Finally, the file ends with an end if preprocessor directive with comment calculator underscore h. Implementation files, which have a .c extension, include their corresponding header file and contain the actual function implementations. They can include private functions not exposed in the header and define static variables with file scope. These files are compiled separately into object files with the .o extension. Each module should focus on a specific functionality and maintain high cohesion. Here's an example of a calculator.c file. The file includes calculator.h header file. It implements add, subtract, and multiply functions. Each function takes two float arguments, namely a and b, and returns their sum, difference, and product, respectively. For integrating modules, the main program includes necessary headers. Each module is compiled separately, and a linker combines the object files. Modules communicate through their application programming interfaces or APIs, and encapsulation hides implementation details. Here is an example of main.c. It includes standard input-output.h and calculator h header files. Inside the main function, variables x and y are initialized to 10.5 and 5.2, respectively. The result of adding x and y is stored in result variable and printed on the console. Similarly, the result of multiplying x and y is stored in result variable and printed on the console. Finally, the program returns zero. Here is an example of a make file for a calculator project. It sets the C compiler to GCC. C flags are set to include wall, W extra and standard equals C99. Include specifies the include directory. Source files are specified to be main.c and calculator.c. Objects are created from source files and the target is named calculator. Then there are some best practices to follow. Keep modules focused on a single responsibility. Use header guards to prevent multiple inclusion. Minimize dependencies between modules. Hide implementation details with static functions. Document module interfaces thoroughly. Use consistent naming conventions and automate build process with make files. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.